Hi guys, welcome sa SIP9. In this video ay tuturin natin yung series natin on uh, PEMDAS no? and tuloy pa rin yung discussion natin on uh, using uh, na parenthesis. No? Paano pa tayo nagko-compute pag yung uh, expression natin ay may parenthesis. No? So, just to differentiate, uh, meron tayong hindi naka-parenthesis at naka, naka-parenthesis. And uh, sabi natin, uh, just a brief review, pag meron tayong operations, yung uh, una na, uunahin natin is yung nasa loob ng parenthesis o nasa loob ng grouping symbol. Pag natapos na natin yan, gagawin natin, isimplify natin yung may mga exponents. And after nyan, naubos na yung may mga exponents, uh, tignan natin yung uh, multiplication and division. Uh, gawin natin from left to right. Pag naubos na natin ay... Uh, addition and subtraction from left to right. No? So, sa letter G, we have... Kaya letter G kasi meron na tayong... This is a continuation. No? Uh, letter G, meron tayong uh, 30 divided by 6 minus 4. So, meron tayong division na number 3. Tsaka meron tayong subtraction na number 4. Obviously, unahin natin yung number 3. So, this becomes... Ito muna, di ba? So, yung minus 4 natin as is yan. So, 30 divided by 6 is 5. So, 5 minus 4 equals 1. No? Uh, papano naman kung may parenthesis, no? So, yung parenthesis number 1 siya, unahin siya. Meaning, yung uh, 30 divided by uh, yung, yung number at yung symbol na to, as is pa rin siya. And then, unahin natin to, 6 minus 4 is 2. Pwede natin lagyan ng parenthesis, no? Pag nilagyan ko ng parenthesis yan, ang tanong, yung parenthesis pa dito ay kapareho ng parenthesis dito. No? Uh, medyo hindi. No? Kasi ito, you, you are grouping uh, yung operation, pero dito actually, uh, you're just enclosing the number. No? Minsan, ginagamit yan pag may negative. No? So, hindi ito, hindi ito yung grouping symbol na sinasabi. Ito, hindi ito yung number 1. This is just separating negative 2 from the other numbers. No? So, yun. Just uh, don't be confused. No? So, 30 divided by 2, this becomes 15. No? So, tignan natin yung may parenthesis tsaka wala sa Excel. 30 divided by 6 minus 4. So, yung number 1 or letter G, 30 divided by 6 minus 4, wala siyang parenthesis. Pwede yung lagyan ng space, pwede hindi, no? So, 1 ba yun? Yung sagot natin doon. Tama, 1, di ba? So, this is correct. At yung number 2, pa, meron tayong parenthesis. So, 30 divided by 6 minus 4. Pero may parenthesis tayo. Ay. May parenthesis tayo dito sa 6 minus 4. So this should be 15, no? katulad ng sagot natin sa kabila. Should be 15. Okay? So, unahin natin dapat yung, ah, uh, unahin, ah, uh, inuunang computein yung may parenthesis. And, kung this is your first time to watch this series, no, uh, pwede nyo din yung napanood yung previous videos. Pag nag-check tayo ng answer natin sa Excel, nagsistart siya sa equal sign pag meron tayong uh, operations na gagawin and then yung slash stands for division at kung may multiplication naman tayo asterisk no? oh, sorry okay so 15 which is correct what about this one so tatlong operations to wala naman tayong parenthesis wala tayong problema dito uh, meron tayong uh, multiplication meron tayong addition saka meron tayong subtraction ano uh, na division so, pag, ano sabi sa ano? Unahin muna natin yung multiplica multiplication division from left to right, no? Ibig sabihin, ipiperform natin to yung multiplication dito. Ito as is yung plus, tapos ito, no? Tama? So, kasi uh, multiplication from left to right, division from left to right. Ito yan. So, 24 times 2 is... Uh, 48, and then we have plus, as is yung plus natin. Tapos, kung gusto nyo, huwag muna natin isabay, no? 
So, tapos dito tayo, 48. Pero pwede na yan isabay, no? Kasi separated naman siya by addition. 6 divided by 3 is 2, which is equal to 50. So, 48 plus 2 is 50. 24 times 2 plus 6 divided by 3. So, 24 times 2. 24 times 2. Plus 6. Plus 6. Nagkakaproblema yung aking ano. No? Divided by 3. 50 ba siya? Tama, no? Tama tayo. Pero paano pag may? Pag merong parenthesis yung 2 plus 6. Anong unahin natin? Parenthesis muna. So 24 times as is yan. Unahin natin to. Yung divided by 3 dito as is yan. 2 plus 6 is 8. Okay? And then from? From uh, left to right, what is 24 times 8? 160 plus 32. I think this is 192. Sana tama ako. No? Tapos, from left to right, tapos divided by 3. This is 192 divided by 3. 180 divided by 3 is 60, di ba? 64? Okay? Check natin kung tama ba yung aking computation. Mental computation ko. 24. Ah, meron tayo dito. Kukopyahin lang natin. Kaso, pwede natin siyang kopyahin. Kaso, yung nandito, may, ang, may parenthesis tayo is yung 2 plus 6. Masagot natin ito. 64 pa. Oh, tama tayo. Okay. And letter K, we have 8 minus 5 plus 2 times 10 minus 4. So, this is equal to, unahin nyo na sa parenthesis, 8 minus, pwede na isabayan yung may parenthesis, no? So, pwede na 7. 8 minus 7 times 6. So, Uh, meron tayong subtraction saka multiplication. Multiplication is number 3, subtraction is number 4. So, unahin natin ito. So, 8 minus 42. Ilan ang 8 minus 42? Negative 34? This is negative 34. Okay, so check natin. 8 minus 5 plus 2 times 10 minus 4. This equals to 8 minus 5 plus 2 times 10 minus 4. Tama ba? Tama ba yung given natin? Negative 34. Check natin, baka tama yung sagot natin. Pero tama ba yung given natin? Check ko lang. Uh, 5 plus 2. And then we have 10 minus 4. Hmm, I think tama naman. So, yep, tama naman tayo dito. And lastly, this is correct. This is also correct. Paano pa ganito, no? Uh, meron ka ng parenthesis, tapos meron ka pang sa labas. So, pag ganito, ang unahin natin ay yung nasa inner, no? Magkakaroon tayo ng another post na puro ito, puro nested uh, parenthesis, no? Nested parenthesis ang tawag natin dyan. So, minus. Hindi ko alam kung ginagamit sa math yung, yung nested kasi ginagamit yun sa computer science, no? So, sa mga programming. So, I'm not sure kung ginagamit yung term na yan. I think ginagamit naman. So, 9 times. Dito tayo muna. This is the inner. 7 minus 11 is negative 4. Okay. So, nag-change na siya ng meaning. No? Uh, take note. Ha? Dito ang parenthesis ay grouping symbol. Dito hindi na siya grouping symbol. No? Uh, the parenthesis just denotes. Or just highlight that this is a negative number. Usually, nalagyan natin ang parenthesis. But actually, pwedeng hindi na. Diba? 
So, hindi na siya grouping symbol dyan. But still, since nasa loob tayo ng another grouping symbol, unahin natin to. So, 4 minus, what is 9 times negative 4? That's negative 36, no? So, 4 minus negative 36 is 40. So, yeah. Check natin. Um, 4 minus 9 times 7 plus 11. So this is 4, 4 minus 9, nasa loob yung 9, times 7 minus 11, times 7 minus 11. Hindi ko alam kung gumagana yung square bracket dito, no? pero let's check, no? tignan natin. Pero as of now, parenthesis lang muna kasi pwede naman tayong magdodouble parenthesis na ganyan. So of course, may pair yan. Ito yung inner, tapos ito yung 9. So dapat 40 yung sagot natin. So tama naman, ano? Which is the same as our answer. So tama naman yung sagot natin. Now what I have to check, no? Hindi ko pa na check kung gagana ba yung square bracket. Tignan natin. Aha. Uh -huh. So, gawin nga natin yung square bracket. O, tignan natin kung gagana siya. Baka hindi siya gumana. O, hindi nga siya. So, sa Excel, uh, lahat ng looping symbol natin, parenthesis lang siya. The parenthesis symbol lang. I think uh, may iba siyang meaning. But of course, dito sa pagsinulat natin, you can use uh, square or curly brackets. Okay, so we will have an entire post, no? Uh, post na dedicated dito sa mga maraming parentheses, no? Okay, so that's it. I hope uh, may nagtunan kayo dito sa ating uh, tutorial na to. Uh, gusto ko yung invite sa ating uh, YouTube channel, no? Sipnayan.com uh, Yung ating website. Sa YouTube channel natin, pwede kayong mag-subscribe, syempre, no? Uh, and I encourage you to do so. Uh, we have also a Facebook page, Sipnayan uh, PH, no? uh, facebook.com slash Sipnayan PH. And siyempre yung ating uh, website, Sipnayan.com. So Sipnayan.com, nandyan yung uh, mga list ng ating mga posts. No? So pag nag-subscribe pala kayo dito sa YouTube channel natin para ma-inform kayo every time na mayroong bagong post. May makikita kayo na parang bell doon. So pwede nyo siyang i-click, no? Pag-click nyo na subscribe, click nyo yung bell para every time may inform kayo. Pag hindi kasi nakaklik yung bell, ay uh, random, random lang siya mag-inform. Hindi sa lahat ng post, no?